Liu Bei's army, aided by the resourcefulness of warlord Zhu Ge Liang, repels the forces led by Cao Ren. However, now that he is secure in his conquest of the northern provinces, it is all too clear that it will be only a matter of time before Cao Cao turns his greedy eyes to the south. A cloud of dread spreads slowly toward the Jing province. We need to decide what our options are. Yes. What ideas have you come up with? Cao Cao's army is vastly superior to ours, but his generals think little of our strength. That's their greatest weakness. Let's take them by surprise and attack their headquarters first. Then we can go in and steal their food and provisions. This must be an example of how the world has turned into a pit of depravity. A man-eating tiger lurks in the area, so let it confront the Black Dragon. What we need is training, if you ask me. We'll beat them at their own game. That's how we'll become victorious. Let's take action. I'm open for any suggestions that you may have. I agree. Let's do it. Yes, yes sir. sir. Brother, under my supervision, the soldiers have greatly improved their strength. In a concerted effort to conquer the world, Cao Cao begins his march out of Zhuchang. Meanwhile, the Jing province has fallen into an abyss of misery and disorder as a direct result of the massive destruction they have suffered through. Overwhelmed by Cao Cao's army, Liu Bei is unable to press his attack. Instead, he heads for Jia Ko to recuperate and rebuild his ranks. Hearing the news of Cao Cao's imminent approach, Liu Bei's army collapses in defeat without so much as a fight. No matter how many battles we win, Cao Cao's army gets stronger! You'd think heaven was on his side! Ah, shut your mouth! How can heaven be on the side of a cold-blooded tyrant? He's heartless. He's out for his own gain. Now even our loyal friend Zhao Yun has gone and deserted us! I'm not surprised at that. He favored the restoration. All that you want is Jiao Chen. It's all you dream about. I'm walking on a different path than you are. Bad news! Mason Young and Zhuge Liang have gone and deserted us too! No, that can't be true! I heard they were seen heading toward enemy headquarters! Mason Young! Oh no! <laughs> hey, why don't you all take off and deserve me too while you have the chance? I know that Cao Cao will be overjoyed when he hears the news. <laughs> oh, brother! Don't you remember the oath we made? Hmm? That day in the Grove of Peach Blossoms. That was the day you took us as brothers. Born apart on separate days. But when we die, may it be the same day. And at the exact moment. We were once outlaws that were scorned by everyone. That changed. That day I decided I'd do anything for Brother Liu Bei. <laughs> Brother! Even if the whole world forsakes you, I will never leave your side, not even for a second! <laughs> Please, your crying has to end. Now stop it! Or you'll make me start crying too! My brother! <laughs> All right, begin the council. According to the information from our scouts, the enemy is located here. If we attack Cao Cao's army head on, we haven't got much of a chance. South of Chanban Po is Sun Quan's territory. One way or another, we need to get there. If you can make it here, then we will have a very good chance of winning the battle. 
But if your unit is forced to flee, then we will all be defeated. I agree. Tell me what options there are. Listen to my strategy. We will fortify the route that the enemy is most likely to take. I will keep this bridge open for you, brother. That will be your escape. I have another way in which to serve you. I'll defend the shortest way through this valley, but I've heard reports that the enemy has a large cavalry, so time is of the essence. Liu Bei, if you run away, then stick with me, of course. Our minds and my ambush will totally stop the enemy. You must choose a strategy! I've made my decision. To battle! Our soldiers have deserted? They're panicked by the enemy, sir. I don't know how to say it. It's more and more each day. Oh, that cow cow. What a coward. <laughs> Go easy on you just because you're small. Fun. 
and fool!
face him by yourself, Zhu Liang? The Lord Sorceress prevented me from bringing you his head. Now that you've seen it, do you believe I am loyal to you? Huh. You are incredible. Well, I must get back to my troops. Please excuse me. Goodbye. One here. It's ours, brother. We're defeated. We must retreat.
No! How dare you do that? Father, I swear to you, I'll make them pay! Okay then, we're coming!
I'll defeat you and save Dao Chan. Ha ha! A guard! Anyone up to having it out with me? Then be my guest! the enemy. We should be safe now. Don't think we're done yet. I will get Yao Chan back. Brother, we're lucky we survived that. I know. Now we go to Xiaoko and plan our attack. Huh? What was that? With the victory we have claimed in this battle, our army has finally gained the upper hand. Lord Liu Bei, I am joined by my brother-in-law, Peng Tong, and by Huang Zhang, who is master of the Bow of Giant Strength. I'm Pang Tong, and I am the cleverest fighter this side of heaven. Please call me Huang Zhang. And do take pleasure in my service. the mandate of heaven. I'll prove it to you. You mustn't continue to fight, Liu Bei. There are boats filling the Chengjiang River. Cao Cao is putting everything he has into this battle. He's going to destroy you all. You just have to get out of here. Yao Chan! Are you on a boat too? Answer me, Yao Chan. 